Hey guys, welcome back to Barry T's Garage. I'm on my way to go grab some footage of an MEL 430. Now we did a video a while back, uh, a little bit with Ed Smith, a little bit with Will Violet over at Five Star Engines. They're putting together a Lincoln 462 and that's the last version of the MEL engine series. Uh, right now they're putting together a 430 and that one goes back to uh, 1958. That's the beginning of the MEL series. Came out in, you know, Edsel's, Mercury's, and Lincoln's MEL. So uh, I'm excited to see how that's put together because it's pretty tricky. They have, a, it's kind of like a wedge shaped, like an angled cylinder head. The top of the head where the valves are is all flat, like a diesel engine. And the, the pistons have a really odd shape to them. There's a cavity just inside the cylinder area that's not part of the moving part of the cylinder. So it's just very different and they're a little bit difficult to assemble. And I'm gonna get some footage. I think Will's gonna, uh, already has recorded some of it for me. And we'll just put a little package together here showing uh, the assembly of an MEL series engine. In this case, it's a 430. Thank you as always for joining us. If you have any questions about this video, post that question and uh, we'll kind of get it answered. So 4.30, huh? Yeah, 4.30. 4.30. Getting cleaned up. Love it, Frank. Yeah, good point. All right, Robert, we got to do a video for for Barry T. Barry, he wants me to do a video for you. So this is that 430 Lincoln. He's got two in already. He's got to get this one back out because it looks like the ring slipped off. Kind of normal. Takes some time to fit these. Um, on these particular motors, I generally order two sets of rings just in case one of them gets hung up and on a lip and snapped or if they get broken upon installation because that can happen so he's got the bearing set up um, like I said that ring compressor is pretty specific for for installing this pistons on this particular block so just like that like butter right Robert all right yeah heavy assembly lube on the bearings that way if the motor sits and the customer doesn't get to it for a month or two then uh, no worry about the uh, bearings running dry a lot of the times these motors are put in projects that are in body and paint shop or have the body off the frame for restoration so the motors get built and they sit sometimes but that's where the heavy lube comes in. Like I said, this is an older style ring compressor. It's what they used to use all the time. They work really well on these blocks that have that scallop in them where the chamber is in, built into the block. This helps get that edge. This is the specific ring compressor. Very special, huh? Yeah. This is an older style ring compressor compared to the ones that we usually use. Nothing's ever easy with these antique ones. You always got to fiddle with something to get them put together. Checking the cylinders after installation, make sure none of the rings caught or scored the cylinder. Then he's going to prep this ring compressor for the next set of rings. Rotated the crank over to where he likes the rod journals. To be at so we can install these connecting rods and end caps in the appropriate manner um, a lot of builders have different preferences on where they want the rod journal when they're putting in the rod some like them right there up against the bottom of the cylinder wall some some like them far away so it gives them a little bit more room leeway personal preference so this is the most common style that is used around this shop to install rings compared to 
that style. Definitely have to fiddle with them more compared to these ones. They both have their usage and benefits, I should say. See if we can get this one in first try. So the way he's putting this this particular uh, overlap on that that sheet metal style, he's putting it in a specific spot that helps him install that. Um, he rotates it around, make sure it's right where he wants it to help install this. See, I'm kind of like Robert. I don't like people watching me while I'm doing my work, huh? Not quite this time. We'll get it out and give it another shot. So he's pushing on the bottom of the piston just for people who are aware. There it is. Sometimes you gotta use your fingers to push the rings in. 